Hey, we couldn't have picked a better day to try to do this. Uh, nice fall foliage. Yeah. But I do have something I have to tell you. You coming out to me or something? No, no, that'd be coming on to you, but... Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, but I have big life changes coming, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'll have to show you. All right. Well, all right, he's unzipping <laughs> No, I'm zipping up. Oh. That way they don't get the wrong idea, so... Meet Rita's little sister. Oh. <laughs> She's a little dirty sister? <laughs> gotta love them dirty sisters. Yeah, gotta love the dirty sisters. What you got going on here, RT? Uh, RT? Rita, the RT, now has a sister, the double R. <laughs> but I gotta figure out a name for her yet. Just picked her up yesterday. And I, I traded my Mini Cooper for her, so no more car. Well. <laughs> I'll have the wife's car for inclement weather. Man, I wanna hear it run. You want? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's not quiet like Rita. Okay. Not quiet like Rita at all. Sweet sound of 199 horsepower, 999 cc's. <laughs> With it being having rained a little bit this morning, I didn't have to test out the ABS or anything. Yeah. Dynamic traction control. The only thing that Rita has that this doesn't have is the uh, fork dampeners. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 999 cc, 199 horsepower. We're currently in rain mode, yeah. The modes that you have to be stopped, uh, the clutch can't even be engaged. You got rain, sport, race, and then there's a plug under the seat allows a fourth one for slick mode. Oh, okay. Which, slick mode, it just, it's... It's the least restrictive of all. Okay, you, it probably takes off every single nanny whatsoever. Pretty much, yeah. Your dynamic traction control kicks in later. It allows you a greater lean angle okay. before the traction control kicks in and tries to say, hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, it does not have cruise control on the 14. That was brand new as of, I think, the 15 or the 16. That little triangle right there, that's a light sensor for that automatically adjusts your instrument cluster. Automatically make it brighter or darker. It turns your instrument cluster lights on once it gets below a certain light. You've got heated grips. No heated seat like Rita has, but you don't really need it. I've got a power port right here that I can plug my heated suit into. And that's stock? That came stock. I did not have that installed. That was already there. Well, that's kind of nifty. Yeah. Well, then. And it's, it's a lot better than having to have a wire come all the way up to the front, which would be just a tad bit annoying. Yeah, a little bit, especially on this kind of bike. Yeah. I was surprised at how comfortable this is for being a sports bike. I was thinking it was going to be uncomfortable, but I think I got used to being on Rita in a slightly forward seating position. So this wasn't that bad of a transition, but it's comfortable. But like I'm in rain mode and I'm only in second gear and I'm doing 25 squirrel. <laughs> you can hear I've got plenty of power in reserve and I'm doing 25. I mean, hell, first gear. I don't want to be too loud in the neighborhood. The suspension on the front is inverted forks, and it's self-adjusted on the 14, whereas if you get the 15 or the 16, you can get the dynamic dampening. The 14 didn't have it available yet. I wasn't worried about that. I really like the color scheme of this bike. They say it's gonna get 37 miles to the gallon, I'll have to get back to you on that one. Of course, every vehicle I've ever driven, I've gotten better fuel economy out of it than what they said it would. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I know I'm really enjoying the double R. I'll get back to you once I've got a name for her. But appreciate you watching. Those that are subscribed to me, I really do appreciate you. And until next time, guys, enjoy the ride.